Of those 400 residents who pledged, uh, about 150 uh, actually paid membership. And out of those, about 100 members voted in a recent board of directors election at the end of um, at the end of April. The co-op has passed its bylaws. It's legally constituted as an official organization. We have a board of directors. The board of directors met, and it elected its various different officers: chair, vice chair, secretary, and treasurer. After, uh, shortly after, uh, we we established the board of directors. We contacted the mayor, Mayor Miro, and we asked him would he be willing to sit down and have a meeting with us to get acquainted. That meeting took place last Wednesday. We uh, sat in Mayor Miro's office. We sat down with Dorman and Fawcett from Burlington Telecom, who's, who's managing it. We had an excellent conversation with them. We believe that uh, they want to talk to us. We believe that we want to talk to them, and we're excited. It's at a strictly preliminary stage, but we believe that there is actually, there may be a path forward for Burling, for this co-op to raise money, to fund a purchase of Burlington Telecom, to turn it into a telecom co-op, and then to move forward, expanding uh, to cover more, uh, more subscribers within the city of Burlington, and hopefully expanding outside the city of Burlington. So we're at the very earliest stages. We're a nascent idea, we're a nascent organization. We've just been born, we're just starting, but we believe that there's a path forward to save Burlington Telecom, to keep it local, and to own it for the residents of Burlington and the surrounding area. That's what we want to do, that's our vision, that's our goal. We're moving ahead with this and we believe we're going to be successful. So we're very excited. Thank you all for coming tonight. Enjoy the beer.